everybody, what's going on? I'm bringing you guys a favorites video for the month of July. I never do these in order. I never do them consistently. I just randomly do them. Um, most of the time my products stay the same, relatively the same, but I realized that I've got a lot of new product that I've been using lately and so I want to definitely share with you guys the stuff that I've been loving. You guys know I've always loved Mario Badescu and I've got this, sorry I lost the cap, um, this facial spray with aloe, herbs, and rose water. Um, this I got at uh, Urban Outfitters. It's like seven bucks, but this is a a great like mist for hydration during like a really really hot day it's easy to keep in like your purse or something like that um, and just spritz your face randomly when you're feeling hot or if it's humid outside or anything like that this is an awesome just random like spray to kind of just like rehydrate and kind of give you a fresh feel so next favorite is going to be a cleanser it's the Michael Todd true organics cleanser and I was able to try this out uh, for the first time it's the skin defender cream facial cleanser and it claims to exfoliate and neutralize impurities remove makeup um, and it's for normal to dry mature and combination skin um, I realized lately my skin has been very dry I don't know why I was given this to try out and I really love this stuff like no joke like this cleanser is really really good it's not it's um it doesn't foam up which I love you guys know I used to use the Mario Badescu cleanser um, I think it was the enzyme cleansing gel yes for so long and that cleanser didn't foam up either and I remember loving that because it felt like my skin was really clean without drying out at all it, it, I mean it felt like I I cleansed my face and I had already moisturized it by the time I you know I wiped my face off all the water and everything so it's the same thing with this it has a really nice um, citrusy smell yeah very citrusy um, and it's like a creamy white uh, consistency and uh, while it I mean it doesn't completely take off all my makeup I still have to use a wipe beforehand um, to get off like my mascara and stuff like that but it definitely does help um, exfoliate my skin um, and even the tone out and everything and it just made my face feel just more moisturized and, and less like uh, rough um, and improved the texture of my skin a lot and it softened it up a bit and so um, I really really enjoy this a lot and I also love um, that it's you know certified vegan um, it's 70% uh, organic so it's really um, good for your skin it's not gonna have any of those harsh chemicals or anything like that so um, I'll put a link down below uh, for where you can purchase this um, and everything so if you guys want to give this a try if you guys are my age or older I wouldn't really recommend this for like teenagers or if you have acne prone or a combination skin or really oily skin also with skincare that I've been using lately is my love lettuce fresh mask from lush you guys I love lush products um, I love that it's all you know organic and they make it all for you and it's all fresh and and you have to keep like this you have to keep it in the refrigerator um, I just love that because it's so natural and it feels so good on your skin and you know exactly what you're putting on your skin it's like a homemade um, mask or homemade products without all the work on your part um, and so I got this love lettuce mask because it's supposed to be a simple scrubby face mask to give normal to oily skin a radiant glow with polishing almond shells and soothing lavender oil so so I got this because I needed something uh, more than my mint julep mask that I've been using lately. I just felt like that really doesn't do the trick for me anymore and I wanted to try something different. So I always heard about how good Lush face masks were and I'm all about their bath bubbles and our bath bombs and, and bathtub stuff. So I was like I might as well try out um, the face mask. and. I love this stuff. It's like a green color um, and it's literally you can, I mean it doesn't really smell like anything but it definitely you can feel like the almond shells on your face. Um, that's like the exfoliant that they use in there and um, it really, really made my face feel um, supple and soft and smooth after I use this. So I feel like I got a ton of skincare today, but next skincare product, and I think it's the last skincare product, yeah, um, is my Caudalie uh, Divine Oil. Um, I got this at Sephora, and my gosh, 
I love this stuff. Um, it's so good. Um, my friend Rock, who actually has a YouTube channel, I need to get her on a video. If you're watching this, Rock, I'm putting you in a video. She got this like a few weeks ago and um, told me about it and was like raving about it and, I, and it was talking about how it was awesome and I was like, okay, you know, cool, whatever. But then I was reading um, a magazine and I saw it in the magazine of like the top um, 10 products under $10 to get um, beauty products and so I was like huh like let me try this out so um, got it at Sephora for $10 and it's really a really great oil I don't moisturize my face in the morning or at night with the face moisturizer anymore I just use a little dab of this and just massage it into my skin and again I think this plus the cleanser um, and the mask and everything, I think my skin is reacting very, very well to all of it. I mean, I even was on my cycle it's that time of the month and I didn't have any breakouts. Like my skin stayed fairly, um, you know, normal because usually, you know, on the time of the month you get a, blo uh, a blemish here, a blemish there, whatever, and I usually break out a lot. But I really didn't this time and I think it's because of just, the, you know, the type of products that I'm using on my face. This one is definitely a helper too. So next is a highlighter that I got randomly at the Beauty Supply um, and it's the Ruby Kisses All Over Glow Bronzing Powder. Beauty Supply products are kind of like a hit and miss most of the time, usually a miss. Um, but this was a bronzer um, it's in the color light glow it was $3.99 um, I thought it had a pretty sheen to it so I picked it up and I love this I'm wearing it right now and I don't know if you can really tell um, it, at how my skin is going but in person you can really see that nice glow and usually I use the uh, mineralized uh, skin finish I think it's was in frost uh, by MAC for a long time, but I was getting low on it. So I was like trying to find another product to kind of replace it for the time being. Um, and this one works great. I love this and it's $3.99. So, you know, I'm all for that. Uh, $3.99 versus like an $18 product, I will take any day. So then uh, another thing that I've been loving this month is my body mist from Pink. Um, this is the, I don't know which one this is. Fresh Apple and Lily. Um, this is my favorite scent of all of them. Mmm, it smells so good. You guys know they always have like 50 million different colors and, and types of body mists and sprays and stuff at Victoria's Secret, but this one is my favorite. I can't go a day without spraying this like all over my body like two or three times. Like I love this scent. Um, it just smells so nice. And it does have that apple-y, lily type of smell. And if you guys um, know, like, usually when I talk about scents, I say that, like, I really don't like scents that are sweet or, like, candy or, like, bubble gummy or anything like that or chocolate scents. I don't like that stuff. Um, but this is a very, like soft um, but perfumey scent for a body spray so and it does last actually longer than I expected it to because you know some body sprays don't last a long time but this actually lasts a pretty good amount of time so I've been loving this stuff this month also um, like I said earlier I love Lush products and so another favorite that I've got to show you guys is this bath bomb um, this is the oh, I don't know which one this one's called Oh, I don't know which one this was called. I don't remember the name of it, but it smells so good. Oh, this is, I think, the apple and, apple and cinnamon one. But basically, if you guys have never used these, these are um, bath balls or bath bombs that you literally just stick in your tub or you can break them apart and like save part of it and use it for another time. But you stick them in your tub and it makes like really big bubbles and gives your um, tub like a different color or um, really nice oils and stuff to like help with your skin. And if you guys go into Lush, they have all sorts of different kinds of balms for different things. So if you want one for relaxation, if you want one for um, stress relief or anything like that, they have all these different kinds. And usually I get the one that's basically like a spiral of a like really deep pink and white. That one is the it gives you really 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 glamorous bubbles like TV bubbles um, and so I really like that one and that one also turns your water pink which is really cool um, but I tried this one differently this time because I've never tried that one but I've been wanting to talk about the bath bombs for forever 
on my channel, but I never did because I always end up using them before I filmed. So that's definitely a favorite that has been a favorite for me for a long time, but I just never mentioned it. But yeah, these bath bombs are so cool, um, especially the one that I just talked about, the spiral one for the glamorous bubbles. That's probably my favorite, but I got a different one this time. All right, so last but not least, I gotta talk about my Carol's Daughter Sacred Tear uh, Fortifying Conditioner. Y'all, I already did a video on this collection. You guys know I freaking love Carol's Daughter. They are amazing. Every product that I've ever used by them has been awesome, on point, great ingredients, and they're a really awesome company just in general. Like, their social media um, stance and presence is so on point all the time. They're so good about um, you know just acknowledging their you know their fans and their supporters and their you know their their audience and doing the whole pound sign you're appreciated like I think that is so cool of them to really you know shout out to people that are using and loving their product um, and so I'm you know I'm a fan a huge fan of all of their products but this is my all-time favorite right now I say all-time favorite right now, like, <laughs> whatever, but this is my favorite, favorite product by them. I mean, it's a wonderful conditioner, great slip. I love this for wash and goes. The smell of it is to die for, and I just could not do my favorites video without this product in it. As you guys can see, I'm almost out, so I will actually have to go purchase another one of these. Um, I'm so doing it because it's so worth the, I don't I, I think like $22 or something like that for the product um, it actually lasted me a while um, and then it was great for my wash and goes and it smells freaking amazing like I just uh, I love this um, if you guys haven't tried this line this is the exclusive Carol Star line at Target um, but you can also get it on their website as well but yeah you guys need to try this if you have not if you have not got on Carol's daughter bandwagon you have been sleep. Okay, so that's all I have for you guys for my favorites this month. I hope you guys enjoyed them. Uh, until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.